Hey guys, this is the tree that we're going to be using to, to make most of our bow drill kit. This is a white pine. And the white pine tree, I'm going to show you a little trick to identifying this, is by the, there you go, by the, the needles that are in a cluster. That's one cluster and there's five needles in it. And I'll show you what I mean by clusters. You see, look right here where my thumb's at, right there, that's one cluster. Okay, so there's five needles per cluster. And this is the bark, the white pine. But I'm gonna take some of these dead branches off and make a kit. And I'll talk to you about more of that kit here in a minute. Hey guys, this next part I wanted to talk to you about is the spindle. You want it to be at least as thick as your thumb. And you want it to be pointed on one end like that. The pointer it is, the less friction is going to be in your bearing. So you want it pretty pointy like that. And you want to keep it pretty round. It doesn't have to be perfectly rounded, but it needs to be pretty good. In the bottom side, you can see I've got a, those little indentures all the way around the sides of it. That'll help with your friction. You want it to look just like that. This one's a pretty good one. It's part of the, that white pine that we made. Both the fireboard and the spindle are both white pine. But this is my fireboard. If you don't know what woods to use, I mean you can give it the fingernail test to tell if it's soft or hard. If it leaves the indentations, then it's a soft wood. Next part is the bow. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just something that's green and bowed and that won't snap on you really easily. Paracord works really good as the cordage. You need something to catch the ember, nothing fancy. And you also need a bearing. This is just a one quarter teaspoon that I put inside my knife handle of my Gerber LMF2. I drill the hole out with a bow drill and use some JB Wells and put my one quarter te teaspoon inside it. It's been working really good. But I wanted to show you guys all the little components and everything. I also wanted to say that the types of wood that you want to use is going to be soft woods. Like I said, you can do the fingernail test and it works really well, but anything like pine, cedar, cottonwood, willow, tulip, poplar, those all work really well. And most of those work really good as a set. But just keep watching and I'll see if I can't get this fire going. Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. This is a 55 gallon drum liner. I use it to keep my fireboard and everything off the ground, especially if it's wet. The ground, if the ground's wet and you get your fireboard on it, you're gonna have to get a, a brand new fireboard and you might even need a new kit if you lay your stuff down on the wet ground. Also, if the ground's too cold, it'll suck the heat out of that fireboard, which is gonna make it that much harder to start a fire. So keep it up off the ground, don't let it get wet. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Okay guys, as you can see, I've already got my bird's nest. It's dried grass, dried leaves, dried pine needles. This is gonna make a really good bird's nest after it's all said and done. But we're gonna go ahead and get this bow drill set going. It can be a little tricky sometimes. Awesome. 
sometimes they do that, so. There you go, you want that on the outside, just like that. You don't want it on the inside like over here. You want it on the outside like that. There it is, burnt in. And you can see that color of that dust. That's not the color you want. You want dark brown, if not black. Mostly, I've had luck with black, so. Black is what we're aiming for. That usually means that you're not pushing down hard enough, guys. Okay? So if you see brown dust, then you need to put more pressure. Keep watching and we'll try to get this thing going. The next step is after you get it burnt in, you're gonna wanna carve a, a kind of a triangle into the center, just like I did with that one. You can see that, yeah, there you go. So the next step is carve a little triangle. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys. A couple things you need to really know before doing this is you want to make sure you got your bird's nest. This is just a small one, but it will work. And you want your spindle to be on the outside of the string. Like that. You don't want it to be on the inside like that. You want it to be out here like this. Got my bearing block. Sometimes I got smoke coming out, so you can see the smoke coming off of it. Just take your time and breathe a little, catch your breath. I'm gonna let this. This, these coal, this coal build up a little bit bigger, then I'll come back. We'll get this bird's nest going. As you can see, it's still going. We're gonna try dumping that into here now. Let's see if we can't get a fire going.
guys go. Primitive fire is never easy, but once you get it going, it's always worth it. We're not going to build it up, we're just going to let it burn out, but I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. The one thing I did forget to mention was the size of the spindle. You want this, some people say the hang 10 length. You can see this one's not even that. But I like to personally like to get it from my elbow to my wrist. Because I'm a pretty tall guy and I'm 6'2", so I like to have a lot of, a lot of uh, spindle to work with. And it'll also burn down quite a bit. But that's the bow drill fire. If you like this video, subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more like this. Anybody that wants to leave any comments or questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. I appreciate it.